Unbelievable. I mean, think back to the, the Galveston 1900 hurricane when the residents had absolutely no notice of a major hurricane making landfall. That's exactly what happened in Acapulco last night. This was forecast to make landfall as a tropical storm. And within a matter of 12 hours, by 125 in the morning, as it made landfall, landfall near Acapulco, had wind sustained at 165 miles per hour, making this a Category 5 hurricane. So let's dig into exactly what led to that rapid intensification. First and foremost, we look at the water temperatures, which were cooking out here across the eastern Pacific, just off the coast of uh, just off the west coast of Mexico. Water temperatures widespread around 90 degrees, but that's only one part of the equation. We got water temperatures all over the world right now at 90 degrees, and we're not seeing storms like this develop. So what happened? We have to look up into the atmosphere and with an El Nino setup like we're getting into right now. One key hallmark of that setup is a very active southern branch of the jet stream, and that's what we have right now over the eastern Pacific. And what happened was as Oda near the west coast of uh, Mexico, it started to interact with the base of that jet stream. As that happened, the jet stream was pulling air away from the top of the storm. So basically you have all of this air coming out of the top of Otis and getting pulled by the jet stream. Well, what happens in response to that is that air has to get pulled in at the surface. And as that happens, the storm rapidly gains intensity, especially with those 90 degree water temperatures. So this was the strongest hurricane to ever make a landfall in Mexico. It was the only category five hurricane that has ever landed uh, coming off the eastern Pacific. And again, it went from a tropical storm to a hurricane in just a matter of 12 hours. Now, believe it or not, all the moisture associated with Otis is still present in the atmosphere, and that is going to impact our weather as we get into tomorrow, Tim.